Hello and welcome to MIT USA Incorporated. My name is Leo Valerio. Today we want to introduce to you a planisher that we made that's actually a small planisher in size. It travels 12 inches and it can handle a tube up to 10 inches in diameter uh, and also up to an eighth inch thickness. So um, what I'll do is I'll dry cycle it for you so that you can see how it operates. And um, you know we have the uh, safety um, laser in the front where I can stop it if I get within three feet. The operator always has to be out of, out of the way whenever the carriage is traveling. We're also able to, um, to adjust the stroke through the, these limit switch settings here on the side. Uh, we can also show you how we go about um, loading a part and actually planishing. The operator leans the part against the front, he does the tube support and now it goes forward and it actually performs the planishing operation. Now he removes this one and goes on to the next one. So on and so forth. So that kind of concludes to you how this machine works. It's very basic, very simple. You know, another feature that we introduced on this is for planishing of small diameter parts, you actually have to support the inside of the tube. So you have to make amp mandrels that fit inside of the tube. You have to compress the part. So for that, you move this one out of the way. You take this unit. You put that one in place, and now you have a mandrel. We, we devised this unit in the back so that you would be able to planish, and then it opens up so that you can load and unload the next parts. And that's kind of a neat feature because it's always a pain to be able to remove the mandrel, have to take the parts out, reload it, and then put it back in and position it. Now that we have the assembly in here, now we can get some parts to put in there. Thin diameter parts are always the problem. Uh, that's where you have to support the ID, like I told you. So you put it in there, you center one. You put it in here, center another one. And now you go ahead and just press start. And now to remove and, and install two more, you just take these out, you get two more, you put them in, and it just relieves the operator from all the tedious work of having to insert parts back and forth. So anyway, that concludes our presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we can make this particular unit in longer lengths. Pro probably because of this, we, because of the weight of the mandrel, we probably limit it to like 24 inches, or something along those lines. It would be a matter of uh, trial and experience. So. Anyway, feel free to call us if you have any questions.